podcast for 2018. Now, let's take a look. What's going to be coming your way? All right. I'm so sorry for all the delay. Uh, I know that a lot of you are all the requesting for the Virgo, Aquarius, Pisces, and everything else. Um, I am already working on it. Okay. Uh, don't worry. Ooh, Capricorn. Looks like you can have a lot of. Ooh, good. Oh, oh, oh. Positive changes, movement, money, love, marriage for singles, happiness, pregnancy for those who've been tried, get pregnant, or additional baby. Oh, very good. And also move to uh, well, international move, and hmm, international move, and um, some will have an international job placement. Or international, uh, uh, what do you call this? Um, offer. Good, 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 good. Vibration for some. Let's take a look when it comes to your career. Busy bee. Feeling a little bit isolated. You will be selling off a property or you will be. Deciding to, you know, leave an old place behind to prepare for a new life. Relationship will become even more sweeter and blooming and loving and fruitful. Now let's take a look at love life. There will also be some family rivalries that you will be showing off or dashing off whatever you have for some possessions. It might be obvious that you're going to be winning, but uh, you're not really the kind of person that will be you know, competing against anybody, but somebody will be competing against you. So, I feel like you are going to be, um, you know, playing their game. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Uh, whew. um, okay. Well, some Capricorns will have a hard time making a decision about a particular fire sign, especially if you're an Aries or any other fire sign. Okay? Because there will be a betrayal and there will be some sort of a walking away, or your partner will be accepting an offer that is not, you know. They're not going to tell you that they've been contemplating into moving far while well, far away from you. So, you know, it's like you're going to be, you're, you're going to feel it so much fair that while you're planning for the two of you, for all of you, and then all of a sudden you're, you will learn that your partner also has her own, you know, has their own um, agenda. Let's take a look at your health. Uh. Mm -hmm. and you know, there actually there's something in your relationship that is already existing. More likely a third party that you're not just paying attention, but your instincts are already telling you that, you know, something is off happening in the background. Some women will find out more problems about their ovaries or about pregnancy or will have a complicated pregnancy. So be very careful. Might as well just check out with your doctors, you know, for more professional advice. And if ever that you don't have any problem with your ovary, good for you. You know? Now let's take a look at your January forecast. You know, there will be some happiness, financially achievement, success, fulfilling of a um, like job offer, signing a job contract, or signing a new business acquisition, acquiring a new business. And in overall, this month will be the start of your wishes coming true. Okay? 
happiness when it comes to love will also be there and you're going to be very happy with the changes in movement and progress that you're going to be seeing at the very beginning of the year however there is somebody that will be far away from you or that is far away from you that will be you know at the back of your head or at the back of your mind or that you will keep on thinking about all right family rivalry i feel like there will be it's not about the rivalry that you're, you know, you're going to be like a competing for the attention or love, uh, you know, of your parents or something like that. But there is a relative of yours that will be competing with you that whatever you have, let's say, for example, you bought a new car and house, you have something new. This person will also do anything and everything just to get a new car, a new house or something like that. If you post it in your social media, about something new in your life and that you're happy about it this person will also be showing off something in their page or whatever it is to your other relatives and they also have something it's like they are competing with you even you're not really competing with anybody it's a you know it's a pathetic thing in a family but this year you're gonna have a lot of achievements you know especially when it comes to money and you will have a lot of you know um what do you call this uh new friends to be joining your circle in the you know with the network of your um business or work okay work wise i feel like you're going to be very busy most of the time that you will be spending late nights um doing some presentations and preparing some stuff you know because you will be very busy um keying your ideas and uh your company will be asking you to contribute some of your great ideas, you know, into a project that you will be brewing for the last half of the year. And I feel like there will also be some movements. There will be some stuff that you will be selling, which is like a major property, house, car, or something like that, a possession. And you'll be very happy because, you know, even though it is, you know, you're a very sentimental person, but even though you know that you have started something, um, you know that it's just time for a move and there will be a brand new beginning there will be brand new journey and patient chapter that's going to be like initiating in your life you will your your intuition and your spiritual side will also be honing and will be more attuned to you know whatever that's going to happen happiness that will also be in store with your colleagues with your harmony that will be restored with your bosses and superiors and other clients you will be the winner because there will be a recommendation for a bigger project so just consider this as a promotion you know taking over a very big project that entire you know that will entice you to bigger bonus or increment or something like that okay when it comes to your love life, your work will be consuming a lot of time that is supposed to be for your family, for your relationship. But then there will be a discovery that you will also be making, that you will see, you know, which is you're going to have a hard time making your mind up whether this is, you know, worth having or worth getting. And there will be some issues about, you know, somebody who's going to be leaving you. Or plan of leaving you which is a fire sign you know for the sake of money or work and you will be walling yourself up let's put more clarifications of this this is a fire sign there will be a victory so don't worry okay even if right in the middle of your depression and miseries that somebody will be walking away from you in exchange of money you will have a lot of victory and right after you know dealing with your heartaches and your pain you will learn how to cut this person off and move on with your life without any scratch okay sex life sex life is just uh just as messy as it is but um you will try to gain your momentum and you will try to gain your energy vibrance and uh, zest into having sex again and there's also somebody at work who will try to seduce you and it will try to show up their admiration or feelings okay but then you will be very overprotective of yourself that you just might as well spend some time alone and do it yourself if you really feel having it or doing it you know rather than being with someone that you don't really love and you hardly know now when it comes to your house good health is coming but i feel like you just need to take care of your skin 
Um, you also need to go for some waxing or some body scrubbing or, you know, like a Brazilian wax as well. You need to go for that. And uh, you need to rehydrate. Avoid some acidic food or drinks. Okay, you also need to have some balanced diet. Sugar, okay, rise of sugar or diabetes in your blood. Because um, you will notice that your eyesight is getting more and more blurry. It's not because of your eye reading glasses, but you better check out with your physician, okay, to check it out. Aside from that, you also need to take care of your bones or your teeth, especially. Because uh, there are some problems from the past or health problems from the past that will be reemerging, And your immune system that needs to be strengthened, okay? Let's take a look for singles. What's going to be coming their way? Well, you know, you have experienced the defeat in the past, and now things are slowly turning around for good. A young air sign that is very much a single that will be moving near you, or that you will be, you know, because you're moving soon, okay? That when you move, you will be meeting this person. Oh, and there is going to be another younger fire sign that will be around you. And you will be feeling a little bit stuck or, you know, a little bit uh, thinking twice, which is which, what is what. And I feel like you will be moving and traveling at the same time. Love life in the month of January, you will be meeting two promising young people. Okay, whether it's a matter or a woman, depends. And they're very much single, okay, no attachment, and uh, mm, it must be like they're, they've been there before, but you know this younger air sign is the one who is more domesticated and who is more into long-term relationships. This Knight of Wands or this um, younger fire sign is the one that you will have some second thoughts, okay? This, one, they keep on playing games. Two, they're very consistent. It's like they're going to be boosting their attention, calling, texting, and stuff. And all of a sudden, they're just going to stop after two weeks. And then it's like a, you're going to have a lot of, uh, you know, like uh, question marks right in front of you. So this person is something that you need to be a little bit more careful. And you will be meeting an older fireside when you travel on the second week of January. Good for you. But in overall, I feel like things will start moving. There will probably some progress, uplift, upgrade, development, you know, especially that you're going to be moving in the fourth week or during the month of April, and you will also be traveling, right? Let's take a look at your February. February 5th is actually the Chinese New Year, so the year will be changing from the year of the dog to the year of the pig. 
Oh, by the way, the uh, Chinese uh, forecast for, for the uh, year 2019 is already available in my website. Um, I'm still finishing some of the pages, so please bear with me. Okay, I know that I did not really finish off the um, some of the pages last year because I've been really, really busy and I'm, I was always sick. Okay, I was always in the hospital last year, but this year I feel like, you know, things will slowly become even more calmer and better and, uh, you know. Uh -huh. uh, Capricorn, the water sign that will be breaking up your heart. Mm -hmm. You will be communicating with someone from the past. There will also be some love triangle that I can see with a water sign. Or a water sign that you used to love so much. Will be more of a love triangle thing. Let's take a look. Oh, somebody's going to be leaving you, so somebody's also coming. When a door closes, a window opens. And that is a larger window. will be attending a wedding. Some Capricorns will also hear that their ex is getting married. Ooh, well, it's a water sign, you know, there's, all, there's actually a water sign that will be breaking your heart. It so. could be that this person from the past will also be invited into their wedding. Mm -hmm. You know, Capricorn, you're actually very good in bed, but it seems like with all the stress, depression, and unhappiness that has gone into you, you know, I mean, above your head, you became so dull, and you became so lazy in performing. It's time for you to review those skills and you know, get back on track, get back in the game. And it's time for you to release those fireworks that you've been hiding for a long period of time. All right. Communications with somebody from the past, and there will be a very big news that you will be receiving. Okay. One is that there is a fire sign you'll be giving you bad news, or that you'll be receiving some bad news or some heartbreaking news from a water sign. You will be working towards your agony okay and about your you will also be putting your best focus and your you know your heart into your work but then there are some pertaining things from the past especially if you have left somebody behind without any closure and this person will be reaching back to you the, for the first two weeks of this month of february okay and i feel like you will have some um what do you call this like um like a like a set sentimentality, okay? And you were, you know, it's like you were waiting for this person to finally come back into your life for a long period of time. And eventually when this person really reached back to you, and 
this is something that you are not really expecting, that they're going to be reaching out to you for some, you know, shadow reviews. Now, the thing here is, I feel like there will be some changes, you know, and you just wanted to move on from this, you just want to finally walk away, and you will also be starting a new beginning or a new foundation, or, um, well, you will be meeting somebody from a distance, and uh, this is more likely an ear sign, okay? So this is more likely for singles. And for couples, I feel like, remember I told you that, you know, a water sign will be a part of a love triangle or a rivalry, okay? Somebody from the past will be getting back into your life and wants to start all over again with you, but unfortunately, you're already with somebody else. Now, this person will be settling just, you know, in the back seat, and this is just going to be for a meanwhile. Just to get what they want but you know if your relationship right now is all this stable you don't really need an extra drama to your life okay now for singles um it's time for you to move on from a water sign okay because it seems like this water sign will be getting married soon now when it comes to your work okay Again, that there will be some, you know, this uh, whole wedding thing or this, you know, this news about somebody who's getting married. You just need to get a grip from the reality and you just need to move on from that. You will be bettering yourself and I feel like this is the time where you will be opting for some sort of a short luxury or a short trip or short vacation just to pamper yourself a little bit. And you will also have a staycation, okay? Now, um, this is also the time where you will start changing your position, changing your office, or changing your environment. In overall, there is an unexpected offer or job offer that will be coming your way, and you're going to be very pleased, okay, with the news that, you're, that is coming. But eventually, you will somehow feel a little bit physical or a little bit confused whether it's the right thing to do but eventually you will be listening to your instincts and you're going to be going for it you're moving now when it comes to your love life you know it seems like this love loves the cards are actually focusing in your heart and the, the cards are actually focusing in your relationships and emotions now there are a lot of things that you need to weigh down Okay, there are a lot of things that you need to balance it to balance. Sorry, see, this is actually the card of illusion, and there are too too many thinkings, you know, too much analysis. It's just time for you to to cut off some of those unnecessary daydreams. You need to balance both. Okay, the justice card and the temperament. The uh, the temperance card actually came out both. It's time for you to, to weigh down your options. If you're trying to choose between two people, it's time for you to make a choice. If you're trying to, yeah, just two people, two situations, or two problems. And if you are also trying to swing back and forth, past and present, it's also time for you to make a decision. Or, you know, two job offers, whether you should move outside of your city or country, or you should stay in. All right? But if you stay, I feel like there will be a lot of devastating effects and uh, consequences. So even if there is something that you don't want, see another another thing, heartbreak from a water sign. Somebody is really going to be breaking your heart. But And this is somebody from the past, okay? So you will be traveling and you will do some soul searching to love yourself again. Sex life. You know, for those honeymooners and for those, you know, who just got into a relationship or trying to renew the relationship, there will be a lot of uh, rediscovery and you will be acting like uh, you just met, okay? So there will be a lot of fun that's going to be restored in harmony. This is for those 
push you into their relationship or just trying to reveal their relationship. Your sex life also needs a little bit of a makeup and a little bit of, um, you know, regeneration. Okay, try reading the book or try <laughs> reading the manuals again because you've already forgotten how it is to be a little bit more creative and to perform, you know, to deliver the fireworks with your partner. Now, health wise, it seems like you are trying to create your own medicine or you're trying to self medicate. Well, if it's herbal, it's okay, but you know, um, try to consult physician more for you to avoid more uh, dire consequences later on. Also, you need to strengthen your bones and uh, you also need to take care, have some breast uh, exam for women. And you also need to join or to participate in some creative activities that will be requiring physical interaction like dancing, aerobics, or um, I forgot what's the dancing thing that you do. And um, yep, meditation, eat healthy food, legumes especially. And well, if you have an arthritis, better avoid it. Oh, and uh, be careful with wild animals and their parasites. Food poisoning, gastritis, and uh, ulcer related problems. And if you have a pet, you will notice that your pet will be a little bit more aggressive towards you. Okay? Skin problems or acne, and you're going to be a little bit more, you know, concerned about how you look like, some vanity issues, high blood pressure, chest pain, um, frequent migraines, and sleepless nights. Okay, you also need to turn your back into a lifestyle that you all do that Tuesday, which is eating late or way past the uh, the meal hours. You need to avoid that. Let's take a look, singles. What's going to be coming your way? Actually, you know, the first few cards is already for those who just, you know, who already get newly singles who is already single. But Let's take a look more for uh, you know for more clarifications before we proceed to your forecast. Now, hmm, Knight of Cups, King of Cups. Oh, this is really a season of water sign. Seven of Cups, Six of Swords, Page of Cups. King of Wands, Eight of Coins, and the Star. Mm -hmm. Seven of Swords. Well, okay. You want to move on from a water sign person, okay? And I feel like this is the um, the season or the month where you really have to recuperate and. To <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, and to recover from your heartbreak, you know. Um, you will try to get closer to a um, fire sign to turn for their attention into their company, but it seems like this person is not really going to be giving you any better company, but instead, uh, you know, this person will also be taking advantage of you and will have some false admiration or some false intention. You just need to rebuild your your life again. You just need to, you know, cure and uh, heal from this heartbreak. Now, you'll also be receiving an apology from, uh, from a water sign. That even though they are trying to, you know, even though they are trying to, what do you call this? Um, Try to console you, you know, because of the heartbreak or the heartbreaking news that they're going to be delivering. It is much better for you to just fully move on and cut this person off. You cannot be friends with your ex and you cannot be friends with somebody that you still have feelings for. Okay? It's much better for you to work on your soul searching and, uh, you know, healing as well and avoid people who are liars. 
because the, you know that is where you're going to be having a defeat plus oh, be careful for those singles because you have a tendency to get pregnant some unwanted pregnancy let's take a look at your March forecast Now let's take a look at your March forecast. Your side will be lying to you. You know, Capricorn, it seems like this year is going to be very good for you. There are just some people that's going to be throwing dramas right into your face because, you know, they just want to, you know, delay you. Just be, you know, just be stern and firm and you know, stuff like that. Okay, communications with somebody from the past, which is especially if you've had a family with this person, or there will be some talks about, you know, about children. Now, there are actually two things, okay? You'll be hearing from a sibling that lives far from you about a job or about a business deal or some financial stuff that they are you know that they uh wanted to get you involved <clears throat> and there are also some child support that you need to fulfill okay from somebody that you've had um, well, obviously that you've had a relationship with and i feel like um they, they also need some financial aid or some financial help from you now be very careful with somebody that you've had a um, 
you know, that you've had some feelings for, that you've had a relationship with, especially if it's an air sign, because this person would just try to outsmart you, would just try to take advantage of you, and there will be some things that you need to walk away from. If the person's excuse or if the person's drama is not really the tolerable, or like, you know, it sounds a little bit impossible that they're just trying to build some money from you, walk away from it. Because you will learn the truth that this person is not really telling you the truth. Okay? Now, let's take a look at that clarification. And you will definitely wall yourself up because you will learn from your own mother or from a mother figure that what they are claiming isn't really true. Okay? So, and I also feel like somebody from the past will be re-emerging. Somebody that you consider as your soulmate. All right? This is an earth sign. Another earth sign. Now, when it comes to your workplace or when it comes to your careers and finances, gathering, and uh, I feel like you will be attending an outdoor training or you will be attending a seminar, exhibition, or some sort of uh, like a gathering conference um, that is out of the, well, I feel like it's just out of town, not really out of the country. And you also need to declutter some of the old files that you no longer need. You need to remove it. You need to shred it. But you have to make sure that you'll be keeping a soft copy. You will also be learning some new skills and focusing on honing your skills or learning something new. Taking some crash courses or online courses just to increase and just improve your, you know, the quality of your work. And you will also be participating in some foundation thing like a voluntary thing okay and you're gonna be very happy plus this is the time you know this is the month this month of march that you will be acquiring or buying a new house good for you now when it comes to your love life an air sign that you need to you know balance and that you need to find something like a truth from whatever it is that they are claiming because this person will try to uh, ambush you or will try to make you feel stuck in a situation but it's just really time you know to listen to your instinct and it's time for you to cut this person off you also need to be careful with the intention of a water sign that's somebody from the past because you know you know for those Capricorns who's all within a stable relationship you don't really need an extra okay or like a third wheel and you also need to be a little bit more um, in control of your faith and in control of your feelings, all right? I mean, you, you did have an attraction with this person for uh, for quite some time, but then, you know, that's all the over. And whatever that's in your present, you just need to hold that, and you just need to take care of that. Now, you also need to learn how to take care of your relationship and protect your ring or protect your circle, all right? Okay, sorry about that. Um, mm. Mm, sex life. You know, you really gotta do something with your um, libido. You know? It's like... You know, for some Capricorn women, you're getting all dried up. Some of you are also going through some menopausal stage. Some of you have some problems in your, you know, um, reproductive system. For men, you're, you're experiencing some erectile dysfunction. Or you're having some, you can't even get it up, you know. And, uh, even if you try to get it up, you finish it up too fast, you know. And it's just causing a lot of friction, tension, and disturbances. And, uh some not so pleasant stuff from your partner you gotta do something about it you know you need to stimulate your mind your imagination you need to pump up your blood and if you have to go back to the gym go okay because uh you are really 
Getting so laid back at this. Now, when it comes to your house, you need to be a little bit more careful when it comes to heights because you will be experiencing a lot of nausea. Okay, for women, you need to take care of your breast, even for men, you know. And you also need to take care of your bones. Don't stay too late at night. Try to rehydrate more often. Be careful with the water that you'll be drinking. Otherwise, you're going to have some, uh, what do you call it, some diarrhea. You also need to have some healthy food. Don't offer any uh, street food or don't offer any uh, ready-to-eat thing, microwavables. Be careful with the person, you know, that you will get in touch with who's already infected with some virus or bacteria because you're going to get it definitely you will also have a lot of sleepless nights or you will have um some well you will be experiencing some narcolepsy okay this uh, this month because your brain is too tired from everything that you've been like thinking stressing yourself out with your family stuff with your personal stuff and personal dramas you also need to rebuild your body again as i've said go back to the gym go back into exercising tai chi is also a very good exercise for you to lose weight and problems with your stomach chest lungs uh nasal problems and headaches and aside from that you just need to really turn around and check out with your healthy lifestyle if it's really healthy let's take a look singles with your uh forecast this month with march um if you actually notice that some of the videos are actually not continuous. So sometimes I record them in the daytime. Sometimes I record them during the evening because you know I'm just trying to squeeze it out from my free time before my session starts. Uh, it's uh, the la the session is about uh, life coaching and healing and finding your life directions. Okay. Now I'm I'm also open for booking for 2018. Okay. For those of you looking for their life directions, life purpose, having some problems with your marriage, love life relationships, forgiving, getting over some traumatic events, you just need to consult me directly. All right? All right, singles. Mm -hmm. Looks like you're going to be enjoying some moments with a fire sign. Uh. Especially if you will be traveling within the next, yeah, actually you're going to be traveling within the second week of this month of March again. And I feel like you're going to be very happy, but you will try to fight off your feelings with this fire sign person. Now there are actually two, one older, one younger fire sign that you're going to be into and you just need to you know create some borderline if you're still if you're not yet serious with them then it's fine for you to have fun but if you are already you know feeling something serious with each and one of them separate to make a decision now i feel like right after you are you know right after your travel and right after your soul searching thing and uh, your vacation there is something that you're going to be discovering and you're going to be very surprised upon you leaving and walking away from this. Be very careful for single Capricorns of the unwanted pregnancy or an unexpected pregnancy. Okay. And I feel like you need to let this other person know. Um, no, this person will be responsible for your, you know, for your pregnancy, but I don't, you know, it's not going to be a promising future for this person as this person will always be incurring some new challenges and some changes so you will just end it up always working out for your relationship and for to make things work if you will decide to settle down with this person it's going to be very you know it's like it's going to be very like a roller coaster thing roller coaster drama or right Alright, so we'll continue with your April forecast. Okay, now here's for your April forecast. Let's take a look what's going to be coming your way.
Mm, be careful with those. Be careful in the months of April, because it seems like somebody is a younger fire sign will be luring you to their lives. A lot of stress this month when it comes to job as well. Um, it seems like there is a property that you want to buy, or there is a like a, a house that you want to get, but then your budget is kind of a little bit tight. So eventually, you're gonna have, you know, you're gonna find a way. Okay, I'm not saying that you're not gonna get it. But it's like you just need to readjust some of the things that you don't really need to do at this point. When it comes to your love life, somebody from the past, which is a younger earth sign, will be coming back into your life. This is all the time. This is also the time where you will be moving in with somebody, or you will be relocating. Okay, for committed in marrying. For some reason, you will also be feeling a little bit nostalgic during this month, and you will keep on thinking about somebody from the past. All right. Very careful in playing with fire. As somebody will also try to come up as a third party or as a third wheel. You know, somebody will have their will be expressing their admiration to you, and obviously you're going to feel flattered. But you should know the consequences of this. This month of April for you, it's not going to be that bad, but I feel like there are a lot of things that you should just take as a precaution, okay? Now, there are some things that you need to consider when it comes to your family responsibilities or when it comes to your family obligations. There are some communications that will be, you know, that will come as a blur or there will be some misinterpretations that's going to happen and that's going to be coming your way. This will just cause some fights, disagreements, arguments, or... Um, abruptness, especially if you're into business with a family member. Um, it is much better for you to walk away for a little while, let for, you know, some time to pass by. And uh, they're the ones who will be reaching out to you right in the middle of the month. And uh, there will also be some things that you need to readjust, reassess, reorganize, and uh, some budgets that, that needs to be readjusted. Now, When it comes to your work, money will just come so easy. Okay, I'm. It's there's no doubt about that. It's gonna be a very good year for you. However, be very careful with the younger fire sign. Is it gonna be coming to you with a baggage of lies? Okay, this person will be coming to you with much deception, and especially about. If you're looking for a house, because definitely this is the month that you will be moving or that you will be relocating, okay? But do not trust a realtor or like an agent that is a younger fire sign, because definitely they're just going to do to you with money. You're going to be very happy because you're, um, you know, you will get the, the right amount, the right kind of deal and stuff like that. But then 
when it comes to the commission, this person, I feel like, you know, it's just going to take advantage of you. But eventually, you are going to be getting a very good deal, four bedrooms or three bedroom house, and you will be very happy with your decision. That you somehow feel like, oh my God, you know, the lady luck is right beside me. Now, when it comes to your work, which is going to be a little bit stressful, you need to divert your attention for a little while. And if you're, you know, if you're not yet that busy or if you don't have any other deadlines, which is I feel like your schedule will be a little bit okay. It's just that there will be some people who's going to be giving you a lot of dramas and will be, you know, because I feel like this is the time where everyone will be feeling a little bit readjusted and uh, relaxing. Five, four or five people in your company or in your office or around you will be taking a vacation. So there will be a shortage of people that, you know, that needs to hand over an, uh, an obligation or a uh, responsibility, which is since that you don't have any plans of taking a vacation, you will be handling two jobs at the same time. Okay, you'll be relieving for somebody for like two to three weeks, tops. Okay. Now, also be very careful because someone is lying right in front of you or someone is not being true to you. Somebody that you consider is a friend, but eventually this is just an enemy who's just waiting to prowl into your personal stuff and use it against you. Don't trust too much. When it comes to your love life, somebody from the past which is a younger earth sign that you used to love and that you used to live with will be knocking on your door again and this person wants to re-enter your life. Mostly this is a, a um, I can see a Torian coming your way, whether it's a man or a woman. This person is, let's say has a high education, but you know, a little bit disturbed psychologically and uh, they're also very abusive. You fell in love with this person in the past, but now you're, you've already moved on. Okay, so you don't really have to worry about falling in love with this person again. As I feel like this person is only looking for some forgiveness and closure again. Okay, the lie, the card of lies came out here again with the fire sign. Be very careful. Three times that it all that it came out. This, this, this. Okay, and you will also be feeling a little bit nostalgic. Now, when it comes to your sex life, you are going to be having a lot of time and good times with your partner, with your spouses, and you will be exploring much of the positions that you haven't tried before, and you will also be searching for, you know, from some new toys or add-ons just to spice up your sex life. But be very careful, as I feel like somebody will try to, you know, peek through you, especially if you're going for some cheap motels or for some hotels that is not really that secure, be very careful. Better check out for, some, for any hidden cameras, okay? Now, when it comes to your health, immune system will be targeted this month for you. Also, you will be, um, you know the tiny carbuncles that it started, that it starts from small, a uh, small bump that looked like a pimple? It's not. Be very careful because I feel like there is an infection inside of you that is, you know, with the medicine that you're taking, it's just coming out of nowhere. Okay, so it's much better for you to go and check out with your doctor. And um, also, rehydrate yourself, lemon and ginger and honey. And uh, fever, flu, colds will be very frequent during this month. Um, eye problems and eye blurriness and high blood pressure, migraines, chest pain, muscle pain, and gaining weight. Plus, you will be thinking about a lot of things and be very careful with wild animals. Now let's take a look, see what's going to be coming your way. Um, for 
of coins, your vent, three of cups, four of ones. Oh, you're definitely going to be moving. All right. Now, if things before doesn't really pan out the way you expected them to be, now this month, we, you will be honing your skills, attending some conferences, short courses, lessons, events, trainings, or seminars just for you to hone down your, your skills and your talent. And I feel like you will also be moving, whether it's a house or a new job. But eventually, this will detail you into a much glorious celebration. Okay, and still you will be financially stable. You will also be receiving good news from afar. And this is the start of a brand new beginning. Plus somebody from the past that you've been thinking about, either that you have broken up with this person for the past seven months or seven years will be coming back into your life. And this time it's going to be for real. Now, you just need to stop wallowing over what's spilled and over the things that you have already, you know, that you have already, it's like no longer in your possession. There will be some news, some bad news as well that you'll be receiving about a particular investment that you have put your money in. But, you know, I feel like this is also a lesson for you to learn that never ever trust somebody else or never ever trust someone else's experience just because that, you know, it works out for them doesn't mean that it will be working out for you. Because then, at this point, be careful if you're also into trading or if you're into stock trading, you'll be losing out. Okay, let's take a look at your month of May. They said that the financial market in 2019 should be, you know, going up, but with everything that's going to happen, I feel like there will be more civil wars that's going to be uprising, um, especially in the Central America. It's going to be you know, very hard. Let's take a look at your month of May. Mm. Getting busy with work, getting caught up with a lot of obligations, late night works, overtimes, uh, travel. Finalizing, submission. It seems like there is something that you will be ending or that you will be putting, you know, to stop. Some Capricorns will be resigning right in the middle of this month of May. Now you just need to be a little bit more careful and you just need to be a little bit more, um, you know, like analyze and weigh down your options. If it's actually the right time or the right thing to do. All right? Now It seems like you will be experiencing some turmoil right really in the middle of the month. Because twice it came out here, but this is regarding your personal life. 
um, not with your heart. As I've said, be very careful that someone is really betraying you. Okay? Oh, you're going to have a lot of hard time. Uh, you'll also be a little bit experimental. You know, for some of you, I actually possess that um, book, Kama Sutra 101 or Sex 101. I feel like it's time for you to open up the book and, you know, study again the uh, certain techniques. Work-wise, you will be very busy. And I feel like you will also be attending a celebration of a person that is higher than you or more like an authority figure. Mm. Also, at the same time, I feel like your um, some Capricorns will be resigning from their job to start another or to start a new, okay, to another company. But then there will be some, you know, your company will be holding back some of the things, like for example, your last pay, your clearance, and whatever it is, you know, and uh, it's like. There will also be some arguments that you're going to be you know, putting up with some younger generations or with some people who is in charge and they're going to be playing some authorities, okay? Now, with a new job that you will be, you know, with a new job that you will be uh, doing or a new designation, I feel like you're going to be putting your all, you're going to be putting your high up high hopes up. You will also have some faith and um, I feel like this is going to be a little bit different from your current job but you will be, you know, you will eventually be very happy. Some of you will also try and find what is their fate or what is their life path or what is their life purpose as I feel like, you know, you money-wise it's going to come to you even if you don't seek for it, even if you don't, you know, work hard for it. It's going to come through you, but you just need to be, because you're going to be a little bit disoriented, you know, all over the place. You're going to be putting your head onto your work and with your new, or your, your brand new beginning, but there's still something else that you're looking for. So now... When it comes to your love life, be very careful with a water sign friend or with a water sign that is very close to you as this person will also be um, stabbing you at the back and there will be some um, thought battles or you will have some problems you know, with, uh, going back and forth, bickering and bantering. But then eventually you will rise to the occasion and obviously you're the one who's going to be winning through this. You will also be moving house or moving in with somebody and you will also be opening up your heart or opening up your mind to somebody from your family that you haven't been talking for a long period of time. This is also the time where you should start planning for your marriage or for your, for those who's not yet married, okay, or for and uh, for married, this is also the time where you should start planning ahead for your family. Sex life. I feel like it's time for you to review your book. Because it's like you're only doing one position over and over again. Your partner's getting so bored. And you're also getting bored. That's the reason why you haven't been having sex for, you know, for, for a certain period of time. And, uh... It's like you just, you know, you just didn't really feel it. So it's time for you to get back into those zest, okay? Or improve that department of yours. Because um, 
for some reason, whether it's an oral or, you know, whatever position it is, you can't, you know, you can't be that satisfied. Because I feel like it has something to do with your voided emotions. Now, when it comes to your house, there will be some fine things that you feel like you want to have some second thoughts. Be careful with someone who's already infected with a viral infection and you will start looking into a second opinion. Don't be so selfish. If there are some things that you need to declutter, just try to give it away to charity, okay? You also need to learn how to give back some skin problems or pathological issues and you'll be very concerned about your vanity, your hair, your aura, um, immune system issues, gaining weight more, and uh, parasitic issues. You need to have a balanced diet. Be careful in high places and getting turned off. And take care of your bones and breast. All right. Some women, it's time for you to go for some pop swing. Let's take a look, singles. What's well, gonna come in your mind? This month of May. Mm. Some singles will actually just want to be pregnant without getting married. It's like for you, having a child is all enough. Some singles. You know, you can still get pregnant even if you're not in a relationship, especially if you're having sex with someone. Now, there are some people who will find out that they are, you know, somewhat pregnant and they are also planning to abort it, but that's a very big scene, okay? Babies are actually God's gift to us, so better keep it. Even though the person who impregnated you will be, you know, defying you and say that, nope, it's not mine. So just be very careful about that, okay? There will be some certain communications that you feel like you're not really in control, but then you have to wait for like one month, and this person will be coming back to you, okay, on their own. They're going to be back on their feet, and they'll be offering you a relationship, engagement, or marriage, right? It's an air sign. Now let's take a look at your month of June.
It seems like you're going to be making a mistake when it comes to your work and you will try to make up for it. That's why you will have, you will spend some late nights. You're not going to be so focused during this time because you're going to be busy thinking about somebody. You're also a little bit burned out, so you need to go and have some fun, okay, or vacation. Well, the month of June is, uh, you need to take some rest. Because you've been working for six months straight, oh, definitely you're going to get burned out. It seems like this fire sun who just lured you into a lie in the month of, I think, May or April. Will be coming back into your life and will be asking for your forgiveness. However, this person is just like at a dip and go. And will try to see if you're already okay or not. However, obviously you're not yet okay. And you will be closing the door with this person. Okay? Now, you will be working on something, especially your communications with an air sign, that you will be meeting. This is for singles, and this is for those who, who just got estranged from their spouses or from their um, partners. And I feel like some of you will be working in a brand new beginning, or all of you looking outside the fence or, you know, what's behind the, the wall, okay? Some of you will also start thinking about migrating, moving internationally, or relocating, or moving to a whole different city. Now, when it comes to your work, you're going to be very happy, but I feel like you're going to be indulging into fun more than your responsibilities as you're, you're going to be losing your focus, you're going to feel a little bit burned out that even though you're going to be staring at your computer for like a long period of time or you are drawing some canvas or you're, you know, you're just holding your pen into an empty pad or paper, you can't really, you know, there's nothing that will come out of your brain. It means that it's time for you to go for a vacation and it's time for you to take some break, all right? You're burned out, you're tired, you're stressed, and you're mentally blocked because of the... Um, tiring schedule that you have already endured for yourself. It's also time for you to indulge into some, um, you know, some time with your friends and some food binging, just watch TV, you know, do nothing or travel or walk far until you all feel tired and something like that, okay? Just for you to, to keep yourself a little bit preoccupied and just, you know, not so think about your work because eventually the ideas that you're looking for and the ideas that you want, it will come when the right time comes that when you only have enough rest and you also need to have some long sleep. You're not really sleeping well, okay? And you also need to have a little bit of fun. Just be very careful and try to secure your laptop, your phone, your iPad and everything else because someone is looking into breaking into your personal stuff, like putting some spywares or something like that. Okay, be very careful. Now, when it comes to your, huh, when it comes to your love life, you will have some second thoughts between this air sign and then this earth sign and then a fire sign, okay, that is kind of showing you some changes, but you feel like, nope, I'm done with the fire sign. And with this air sign, who is financially stable, you feel like, you know, you want to have some moment and you want to have some, you want to give this person a chance. Now, for those married and for those committed ones who's already with an air sign, 
there will be a second chance of rebuilding your lives again or rebuilding your marriage. So just try to give this person a chance, okay? And for those who's been working out their relationship with a fire sign, it's just, you know, time for you to give up. And it's time for you to reconsider all of your options and weigh down the logic of the situation, okay? Seems like everything is starting to become a pattern and it's time for you to cut off the circle. Now, when it comes to your sex life, your sex life is pretty much dead. Okay, it's not that you don't have that much zest, but you don't have that much drive because there needs to be some significant seduction um, or like a initiation, okay, or to turn you on, something like that. So, and even if your partner was stripped right in front of you, you feel like it's just one you know, it's just like, just another flush, okay? But that's it. No feelings, no arousal, no whatsoever. Um, I don't feel like you have some problems with your thing down there, but it has something to do with your mental stress and with your avoided emotions. Especially if you've been hurt a lot of times in the past by your partner and you were unable to express it or you get nobody to talk to. Okay, and there are some things that you're just keeping inside of you and you just can't seem to forget and forgive those things that your partner have done to you. And this is what's been, you know, affecting your sex life. When it comes to your health, you will be opting for some outdoor exercise. You also need to learn how to give. Um, feeling so conscious and you also need to take care of yourself. Get some foot spa, get some mani patty facial, massage, sauna, and something like that, okay? You also need to shrink down your uh, cholesterol and your intake of carbohydrates, increase your protein, and again, some high blood pressure issues. You will be noticing some pain in your nape and feeling a little bit nauseous, having some tingling sensation in your right arm. And just be very careful about that and having some sleepless nights. Some of you will also incur into having a baby or pregnancy or will be conceiving or delivering during at this point. And you will be very happy along with your family. Let's take a look, singles, what's going to be coming here by the month of June. Okay, well, for some, it seems like you are going to be having some, well, well, you're going to be having a lot of fun with fire sign. However, don't be so close to much because, you know, this person is just lying to you or this person is hiding something from you, which is you're supposed to be knowing, okay, right before you give it and right before you put your walls down. An air sign is also not really telling you the truth that they are already married, okay? This is, if this is somebody that you're dating with. And you've been waiting for their long-term relationship to come and you're feeling a little bit anxious. However, there is somebody from the past that will be coming back into your life and I feel like this is the moment that you have been waiting for if you're looking for a... Um... Wow. If you're looking for a real relationship. Now, there are actually three people that will be coming back into your life. One younger water sign, 
well, around late 30s, early 40s, um, fire sign and a younger fire sign again. So, it seems like it could be, you know, one for each sign. You're going to be shopping for a lot of fire signs this month. Let's take a look at your month of July. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. again, another betrayal, another fight. You know, if you're actually the fire sign, you yeah, have to start reconsidering this. Right in the middle of the mosque, you will be discovering another line, another betrayal. Something that they've been keeping from you for a long period of time. Also, be very careful that somebody is also lying and betraying you when it comes to your work. But you know what's the good thing about this? That even though somebody is doing something right behind you, it's just going to make it even more stronger. You know, you know, you're very resilient, and you are a uh, problem solver, okay? Not the problem instigator, but sometimes it's also tiring to always get strong, or to always be strong for yourself and for other people. If the people, you know, around you who just keep on consuming you over and over again. All right, this month of July for you will have a lot of ups and downs, turmoils, drama brought to you by air and, <laughs> it sounds like an advertisement, well, brought to you by, uh, you know, air sign and fire sign. That will be causing a lot of disturbances, a lot of stress, emotional struggle, difficulties, problems, communications, problems with the communications. And, you know, uh, crossing the boundaries, they'll be overboard with everything. And it's like you will, you know, this whole situation will be taking a toll on you, okay? That you don't even know where to go, what to do, and what to say anymore. And you just want to have some quiet time for yourself. And you just want for, you know, some peace of mind, even if it's just for a day. Now, 
there's also a betrayal that's going to be coming your way, okay, around the middle of July. So be very careful. Now, there are some problems and there are some things, which is I feel like you will also have some problems with your job that, you know, you'll be making a uh, mistake. But then the good thing about this is that you will be rising like a phoenix, okay? Treat this betrayal or this situation as like a reborn, a rebirth. That you might have stumbled upon a very huge block or some nasty people along the way because you trust too much. But then think of this that when you rise up to the occasion, because you always, you know, go through the storm and make it as a brand new person. That's the good thing about you. You shed endlessly. Okay. Now, uh, there are some people that's going to be by your side, which is also a good thing. And I feel like you just need to learn your lesson. You will continuously climb up. You will make it through. You will finish the deadline. You're going to make it to the finishing line. And there are some things that you're going to be wallowing that, oh my God, it's really humiliating. But then, you know, lesson learned. Water under the bridge. What's important is that you need to move on, way past it, and resolve it. Okay? Love life, there will be some communications or there will be some divorce issues, legal issues, child custody battles that you will be resolving and I feel like you're the ones going to be coming out on top. So a fire sign that will be giving you a lot of hard times and you just need to be a little bit more, you know, stronger. An Aries or a Leo that you will be dealing but eventually you're the one that's going to be coming out on top and you will be having the favor of legal stuff or legal battles right beside you. I also feel like if you're also trying to work out with your relationship or if someone is trying to ruin your marriage, then definitely you will gonna, you know, you'll try to get it up or get back on track. Sex life. You know, there is something that you actually need to rediscover among yourselves. And you just need to be a little bit more vocal about your fetishes or about the things that you really want and that you really need, you know, at, at this point. I feel like you need to be a little bit more open to some suggestions or to some positions if you really want to, you know, have a successful sex life and uh, deliver the fireworks. Because, you know, this has been your long-term problem since I've opened up your sex card, the, you know, the month of January, it keeps on coming up that you do have a lot of problems you know, men or women, you know, with the libido. Now, when it comes to your health, asthma problems, asthma cough, or allergy to fur, that's one thing, you will start getting well and they're rising your health. And uh, I also feel like you will get prescribed by some wrong medications because there will be some consequences or side effects that you will be suffering. You also need to opt out. You need to offer some organic meal or organic uh, drinks. Learn how to meditate and release your dark energy. And aside from that, your immune system it needs to be strengthened and it needs to be, you know, um, have some supplements. Again, some vanity issues and don't So there will be some problems with your eyes, especially if it's too dark. Okay. Let's take a look, singles, what's going to be coming your way this month of July.
Okay. You've already made up your mind and you've already made up your decision about this fire sign. However, yeah, you know, this person still brings more happiness to you, but then you know that there is something that this person is not really telling you or they're just lying about their so-called uh, success in life, okay? Because you feel like it's all exaggeration and lies and then you will be learning the truth and you will feel betrayed that you have, you know, let yourself be dragged down and be carried away by this person's fake stories, okay? Or some exaggerations or grandiosity. Now, and I feel like this will entail into another fight. <laughs> yeah, but even if it's actually going to end up in a fight, you're still going to be ending up getting together or getting engaged or getting married or living together. Great. Let's take a look at your month of August. Okay, now for your August forecast, Capricorn, let's take a look. <clears throat> a fire sign that will be wooing you, but at the same time you're all the wishing for the presence of a water sign in your life. Now, there is a love triangle that's going to be happening in your life. <clears throat> or in your love life this month of August. Meanwhile, when it comes to your work and to your finances, you're still going to be very happy <clears throat> and pleased with the outcome, okay? <clears throat> now, I feel like this fire sign will try to come back into your life when it's almost too late, okay? It seems like you're already starting to fancy somebody or you're starting to look into a different perspective. Right? It's like you're only tired of the games that this uh, fire sign is pulling off and you just want stability, consistency, and the uh, real thing. Alright. You know, you're, you will be under a lot of stress when it comes to your work and you need to detoxify. Okay? You need to release some of your mental stress and I feel like you're going to be um, volunteering for some side work or for, you know, for something that you really want to do, especially volunteering for children or volunteering for a cause. You also need to have some diversion. Some Capricorns will also be going for some short course. There is a like a hobby or interest that they would want to delve in and they want to study that just in case that someday they really want to push you through to make a career out of their interest.
Now, there is a fire sign that will be, you know, that will try and woo you and it will try to get your attention back again. However, you're only looking into a different direction, okay? You will start to think if this is the right path or should you still continue whatever you've had a foundation with. Now, somehow, there's been a lot of betrayals and lies and too many heartaches and pain, okay? Even if you look back into the past. And you just want to be happy. <clears throat> you just want to finally release yourself from the drama and finally um, <clears throat> and find the center of your core, or, sorry, find the core of your, um, of your soul and have some inner peace. That's all you wanted, okay? And with the third week of this month of August, you will be relocating or you will be traveling to a place that is around the south, okay, or going to south. Now, I feel like you will also be carrying your work or your job with you. Since that you're, you know, since that you're a very flexible person, you're going to be a very flexible um, professional. So your boss will, you know, will trust you with your work being carried around even if you're on a holiday or even if you're on a break. Now they do understand whatever it is that you're going through so expect some more support from them. Now careers and finances, you will start looking into investing into something, something else that you feel like it's going to be more profitable than even though you don't have to be presently active in managing or operating it, you know that your money will grow. Now you will be taking a short course during at this point or during at this time that you're going to be in a holiday or you're, you're going to be in a break. And you will be celebrating meeting some people for advices and consultations. And then there will be a lot of things that's going to be coming right in through your mind. Okay, so right in the middle of the month, you're, you're going to have a lot of worries. You're going to be a little bit disoriented and you're going to be like, you know, be a little bit all over the place because you're trying to divert your attention away from your personal drama to your uh, careers and finances and also you know future investments as well now you're going to be a little bit more relaxed when it comes to your finances you don't really have to worry much in fact that even if you're just sitting in one corner or even if you just sit for one day money will start coming into you you don't really have to worry about it but your mind will just keep on working and working and working Okay, they will keep on analyzing things like how can I make my money grow? So your problem is not going to be about getting money inside your life, but you will be so worried about how to make your money grow because it keeps on coming and you want it to grow. Okay, well, it doesn't really grow in a tree, but you know, um, you have to be a little bit more wiser in investing it. Okay, now, right at the end of this month of August, despite of your hard work and the, despite of your effort to forget about your personal stuff, it's still going to sink into you. And there will be some messages in your dreams that you need to heed and that you need to take down. When you wake up, you need to take some journal and write it down so that later on you can recall and you can even find the, uh, what do you call this? You can even find the, um, the meaning okay and then you can ask for the right advice you will be caught in limbo and you will be caught in a lot of uh, ups and downs okay your finances I don't see any problem but it's gonna be your love life that's gonna be like this okay, you're peddling now personal life changes that you've been having a lot of hard time because you know that it's already the end. You know that it's already the utmost end of your strength together. That even if you try to get back together, even if you try, okay, to start all over again, you know that the other one, you're holding at the short end of the other stick and then the other one still has long. So you need to balance, okay? You also need to look deeper into yourself and deeper into your heart. What is it that you really want at this point? Stop looking into the foundation that you've already had because you know that foundation have already reached its tower moment, its tower point. But you just need to be a little bit more firm with your decision. If you still want to accept this person back into your life again or should you just go ahead and welcome a new love? 
just to be happy again. Okay? Now, I feel like you're at this point if you're still confused about a lot of things. It is much better for you to take a, take, take a few steps back and wait for things to clear up and wait for the weather to, you know, have its own sunshine. Let your room storm. Because later on you might just regret, you know, um, making a decision while you're being emotional. Now when it comes to your sex life, you will start think, looking into the different side of it. Even though you want to, you will prefer just to do it yourself, okay? There will be some fantasies or illusions in your head that will become more of your fetish, but you're not going to be acting on it until that you will be stumbling upon somebody who will be flirting with you and seducing you. But eventually you're still going to be in your high horse and you're not going to give in because you know your limits and you know that you're not yet in the right state for this. Now when it comes to your health, you need to be a little bit more careful when it comes to eating fish or eating seafood and make sure that you're going to be deboning the fish because this um, this month you're going to have some, you're going to be a little bit more clumsy, okay? Uh, food poisoning, um, you, you, you will have something stuck in your throat and it's going to take some time for you to take it out, especially if you'll be swallowing fish bone, okay? You need to be a little bit more careful and you will notice that there's something stuck in your throat and hopefully, you know, it won't be necessary for any surgery for that. Now, also be careful with some wild animals and if you have any feather, feather, feathery or furry friends, be very careful about that. Your pets will also be acting a little bit weird during at this point because of the moon phase or the changing of the moon phase. Um, you also need to I mean, you know, depression is not that easy to conquer, it's not that easy to get over, but you need to look at the brighter side of life, okay? Especially for those Capricorns who's already 40s and above. It's not going to be very good for your health to get so stressed out and depressed. And, you know, stress and depression can have a huge impact into your health. It's not just about being melancholic or being lonely and not being able to to sleep or eating much or something like that. It's not just that. It will attract a lot more sickness or a lot more medical ailments. Okay? And it's all connected to depression and stress. Plus, some Capricorns will also find out that they are pregnant or if you're trying to start a family, <coughs> sorry, this is the perfect moment. Okay? As most of you I mean, no, Capricorn women will be very fertile during this this month. You just need to take care of your immune system. And for singles, be careful in having multiple partners or having sex with someone that you just met. Let's take a look, singles. Um, singles, if you just recently met a Taurian or a Cancer during this month, you know, whether it's their sun or, or their moon rising, be very careful with the betrayal. Because I feel like this person is not really telling you the truth and is not really up for a real relationship. Now be very careful in getting taken advantage of. 
and I feel like this person is only looking for somebody to play around with. Now you'll be very happy and I feel like you're eventually you're going to be very generous and you're going to be very gallant with this person. And you feel like this is the right person for you and eventually get into a relationship instantly. But at the end of this month, you will find out that this person is just uh, not really an imposter, but more likely not what they claim to be. You will know the truth, you will analyze, you will also investigate, and you will be finding some proof that whatever it is that they are claiming is not really true. Okay? So... You will be reaching up to that point that I am such a fool and I shouldn't have been with this person in the, in, in the first place. Now, do not let anybody in your house. Or if this person is not really known to you yet, if you want to have sex, better just do it outside. But do not take any strangers into your house during this month. Okay? Uh, it's okay to do it in their place, but not in your place. You have to protect your your uh, your turf, okay, so that they won't be invading you. Because this person that you're going to be meeting this month have some problems with their, you know, it's like a little bit cuckoo. So, they have some problems with obsession, okay? And they're also full of illusion. So, be very careful with the people that you're going to be uh, meeting with. Plus... As I have mentioned in your house, that be careful in having multiple partners or having sex with someone that you just recently met. Okay, um, if you're not really sure of their hygiene or their um, their uh, what do you call this their 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 health, then try to get to know them first before you go to that first base. There's nothing wrong if you're just going to be a little bit more careful. Yeah. You know? So finances still. I feel like if you, for those who's in sales and marketing, definitely you're going to be meeting a deal or you're going to be getting a contract done and signed, okay? There will be a victory and some will also be getting a new job offer or a promotion. Let's take a look at your September forecast. Well, one more thing. The sign that your next year will be good, you should see it during your mm, October, no, the last three months of the year. You should be able to predict that, okay, my next year will be very good. So, especially the month of December. If you're a new year, you'll be penniless, then expect that for the first quarter of next year, you're going to have a lot of problems with your finances. But if by new year, that your finances or anything, your personal, your family, your love life will be very good, then expect that your new year will be very abundant and uh, prosperous. All right? But also happy. We all have our own weather and we all have our own times and moments. So don't really expect that life will always be good to you. It's only a matter of preparation.
Also, um, my next year for uh, life coaching, booking and uh, sorry, booking for life coaching and past life regression healing is now open, or uh, I will be available for next year, starting the month of March. Because right now the reason why I cannot really do the, uh, the forecast continuously is because I'm still busy with my life coaching session and healing with my client here in Thailand. Especially if you've been having some problems with your marriage, career, personal life, it's like you've got a lot of questions about you know why you're why you're like this, why your fate is like this, why your karma is like this, then definitely they can help you narrowing down the answers and you know finding out the truth. You just need to be a little bit more open minded and cooperative. Instead of being so close minded and being objective about a lot of things all the time. So, if you're going to have that kind of attitude, then don't really seek for help. All right, September. You will be traveling during this time, and I feel like this is still part of your vacation for the month of August. You will be taking some time off from work, and you will be, it's like, um, you want to extend your vacation for two more weeks. However, I feel like your boss will be asking you to come back and it's time for you to record it. It's time for you to finish off whatever that's needed to be finished off. There is a new project or big project that they want you to handle since that you've already delivered, you know, the, uh, the project that they have asked you to finish. And they're going to be very happy with the outcome of your work. Now, you will... Well, your life will still be preoccupied by your work pressure, but still, you know, it's still going to be very good. It will be going um, smooth during this time. But despite of your smooth performance or your good performance when it comes to your work, you are still dealing with your heartbreak or with your heartache, and you will still try to buy some time away from work. But I feel like it's time for you to go back, all right? Now when it comes to your work, as I've said, there will be a new project, new beginnings, new accomplishment, and there will also be a celebration because it seems like, uh, let's say for example that you're trying to, um, to win a partnership or to win a contract or deal and that company or that client of yours will be renewing their contract and will still be getting another new project from you or from your company with your lead which is this is good, but you feel like you just want to have a little breather and you just want to take some, you know, some time off and more break from work, which is you will be taking over this job. However, you still want to be a little, you know, you still want to be alone and you still want to work from home or you want to work far away from everyone. You just want to take your time and, you know, your boss can actually count on you when you say that you will do it, you will definitely do it. Okay. Work what? Uh, sorry, um, love life. You are thinking about getting married, but then every time that you do this, every time that you would want a marriage, it always comes down into betrayal. So what you're gonna think is that maybe you should just adopt a child, or you can have a child, or you're already happy with your existing children. You there will also be a uh, success that's going to come to you if you're trying to offer some insurance claim or insurance policy, um, legal battles, and government loans are getting approved for something that you've been applying which is related to legal or government stuff. And I feel like um, you will also <coughs> Uh, learn how to balance 
Ah, the options between the past and the present, which is I feel like you will be considering this water sign in your future. Huh. Now, uh -huh. you know, it seems like so, when it comes to your sex life, it seems like somebody around your work or someone who really, really likes you will be tripping you off and will try to blackmail you, okay? Just for you to be with them and just for you to have some intimate moments with them because it seems like this person is so really into you but you are just concentrated into getting over your feelings or getting over your emotions. Yet you know that it's been a while, okay, that you've been salivating, so you will try to consider this, but on the other hand, you will just deny that you're not yet ready for this. Now, when it comes to your health, again, some Capricorn women will find out that they are pregnant and they're going to be very happy. It will be the start of a brand new beginning. You also need to maintain some light exercise for you to keep your weight and for you to keep your blood flowing. You also need to remove some of the unhealthy lifestyle and food lifestyle. Again, be careful with some asthma, allergies, and yeah, some well, some accidental bites from your furry friends. Because like, let's say for example, because you know, animals during at this time will will be acting a little bit weird. Okay, cats, dogs, birds, whatever it is. Okay, especially if you have a snake. Um, be very careful because their moods will be up and down. It's it's you know you're you're just gonna find them a little bit weird and they will also become a little bit more aggressive or wild. Okay. Now immune system you need to take care of it because you'll be very prone to colds, fever, cough, and asthma as well. Right nighties, sinusitis. Also be careful with the too much salty food and. Uh, it's also better for you if you will be uh, going for some steam bath or sauna for you to release some of your unhealthy toxins and unhealthy fats in your body. And, you know, a little bit of a pampering will help. Plus, don't stay too late at night or don't work too much in the, uh, in the dark, okay, if, if you want to save some more energy or electrical, um, yeah, electrical energy. Let's take a look at your forecast singles. Okay, now be very careful with someone who's going to be tricking you into a relationship or tricking you into making an investment, especially if you're into some sort of a networking group, okay? Now there will be some legal stuff or there will be some, which is money related or investment related, that you will find out that it's just a scam. Okay, be very, very careful. I mean, even if money flows smoothly into your life right now, doesn't mean that you just need, you, you would just, you know, do it like this. Be very careful, analyze everything, consult everyone, consult some people, and ask for an experience, read some reviews, do your research, okay, before giving that hard-earned money, all right? Well, there are a lot of networking stuff right now, which is, you know, I mean, not all, but it is much better for you to just invest it in a traditional business or traditional uh, investments like stocks, bonds, securities, you know, uh, timeshare. So, 
be very careful. A fire sign that you will... Uh, oh, balancing. Fire sign versus the water sign that you will be balancing your options. Okay, which one is heavier, which one is lighter, which one is more stable, which one is more responsible, which one is sane, which one is more insane. Okay, so you will be making a decision by choosing... The fire sign. And the fire sign will give you the three of swords or the heartbreak. Why did the water sign? And this person is just very selfish. You'll find out that they're still, you know, that they haven't really changed and that you made the wrong judgment or you made the wrong decision. And again, it will, you know, induce into betrayal and um, bickering and battery. Okay, let's take a look at your October forecast. You know, it's so rare for a Capricorn or for the, you know, for this sign to get into some sort of an oblivious, complicated, unusual, and wild kind of uh, sexual uh, encounter. Let's say, for example, like an orgy or a... Um, what do you call this? Or your um, group sex, like threesome. I mean, most of the people do fancy that and have their own illusion or terms they 
turns them on. But that doesn't mean that you have to get involved with that. Because you know, in your sex card, it actually appears that <coughs> um, he will be thinking about this. Or you'll have an illusion about this. Some Capricorns are still pretty, pretty much uh, conservative, but some who's already um, liberated or open-minded will have this kind of thinking. So I'm not saying that this applies to all the Capricorns out there. All right. Now, this month of October, you will be cutting off this fire sign, and you will be thinking that you have tried to exude all of your effort and everything that you have in your energy to make this whole thing work. But then, all you ever receive from this person are lies, betrayals, deception, and nothing more. Nothing else. Right? Uh, you will also start thinking about having a brand new beginning with someone who's a very flexible or, let's say, versatile person, which is, well, originally the, the original sign that I'm seeing here is Cancer, but then this could be any other sign. Okay, this person is very understanding, responsible, and you just want to wait for the right time till you're ready and open for the, um, ready and open for the uh, new beginnings, new chapter, new journey. Okay. There will be some news and there will be some communications that will be going back and forth, back and forth between you and, and this fire sign and the water sign. But then, you know, be very careful with your with your decision or be very careful with your choices because it might just fire back or will be, you know, you will just regret some of the, um, what do you call this? Um, well, of course, the issues that you're going to be making during this month. Again, it seems like you will be earning some praises, respect, and recognition, recommendation, and good references during at this point, and you will be attending a big conference, and you will be representing your company. Upon that, you will also be praised by a lot of people, and you will be um, up for an unexpected recognition or award. Okay, and you'll be very surprised with this. That, even though your love life right now is going to be like negative, at least that there is something that we're balancing on the other side. Okay, your um, finances and your career will be soaring up high, it will be booming. So, you know what? I feel like if your love life isn't really working out at this point, just always look at the brighter side. Okay, and uh. You need to release your baggages. You need to release your emotions and you need to release it, okay? If you need to search for some counseling, life coaching, or for some personality development, or for, you know, for some advices, please do. Because I feel like it's gonna help you to see, you know, to see, uh, to see a clearer path and to have a better decision to make when it comes to your relationship or romantic life, all right? And you will also be indulging into a lot of sweets during at this point, and you'll also be a little bit more generous, so you're going to be choosing a foundation to make a donation. Yet, despite of the financial success that you're only, you know, lying in bed of money, you're still going to find yourself alone and uh, still a little bit lonely. Now, even if you already have you know, um, a partner, or even if you're already in a relationship at this point, doesn't mean that you cannot feel lonely. Sometimes you will feel even more isolated and lonely when you are with someone who makes you feel like one. Okay? Rather than being single. Now, when it comes to your, again, love life, make sure to weigh down your options. This, again, even up to this point, you're still choosing between the water sign and the fire sign. You already know the truth, but I feel like you have much more heavier feelings and 
emotions from this fire sign even though this person have led you into a lot of deceptions be very careful with your decision if you're the only one who can free yourself up from these ties or bonds that's been stagnating and imprisoning you okay look at the um, bigger picture if you can see it right now take a few steps back so that you can see it okay in a different perspective in a different direction or you can also ask for some other people's opinion but it doesn't mean that you have to bag them off okay at the end of the day you need to analyze and you need to weigh down your options and still it will be your choice now when it comes to your sex life sex life as i've said I feel like this is just more of an illusion or fetish that will be in your mind. But it is so rare for a Capricorn to get involved in any unusual sexual activities. Okay? So this is going to be most of your illusions or fantasy. But I can still see you doing it yourself or indulging yourself. Okay? So... Let's take a look at your health. Again, you need to have some healthy lifestyle. You also need to learn how to plant or you also need to uh, get into some gardening. Plant, plant some herbs or surround your house with some herbs, even if it's just in a small pot at once, okay? And I feel like you also need to work on your uh -huh. I feel like you need to work on your immune system. Be very careful in getting some, in getting passed on by a uh, virus or bacteria, because you will also have some infections, also some ear infection that you will be experiencing during at this moment or during this month. And some eye problems or your sugar will be very high. That's why you're. You will notice that your eyesight is going to be very blurry. So you better check out with your doctor about your diabetes. And you'll be very cautious of your skin or what do you call this? Of your skin or your external appearance. Or you want to change your aura. You'll be very conscious of how you look like. And you want to change something yourself because you're getting bored, you know, looking at the same thing in the mirror every day. And you feel like your hair will be so dull. Or, you know, the color of your clothes look so boring and stuff. So, you will also be going through some changes, personal changes yourself. Let's take a look at your... This month of October. Defeat, balancing, water sign, your emotions will be a little bit shaky and murky. It seems like with the wrong choice that you have made in the past, you have murdered somebody who is a water sign, and now you will be, you're the one who will be bridging the gap, or you're the one who will be bridging the communications, but you have to learn your lesson at this point. Now, this person wants to have some space and they just want to move away from you for a little while. Not because that they don't want to see you or talk to you anymore, but they get hurt with your choice. Because you know to yourself the truth, but you still, you know, listen to your heart and be led on by it. Now, you will feel so stuck and you will feel so guilty about a lot of things. Just because you have made a wrong decision about this fire sign being accepted again. And you will be into a lot more trouble, bickering and battering, and your happiness will be shattered because of the um, wrong decision that you have made. It will have a dominant effect, okay, to you during this month. Let's take a look at your November forecast. Now for your November forecast, let's take a look. You know, the uploading only takes like an hour, but with the conversion, 
eight days forever. I, I'm not really sure why this is, you know, why the conversion takes so long like this. So I'm so sorry for the delay. And for those who's actually complaining why the videos are being cut off, you know, I'm only using my laptop. And I don't have the um, you know the proper software to um, to pause the videos every time that I have to excuse myself, so I have to stop the video. Okay. This month of November for you is not really going to be very good. As you will continuously experience some pain, anguish, betrayal, that someone that lives far from you is actually cheating on you, or already have somebody on the side while trying to keep you from money. You know, the thing about your Capricorn is that you, when you, you know, when you're in a relationship, you're all out. You're very supportive, you're very responsible, you're actually a very good family person and uh, you know you know how to support some, okay, to some Capricorns. And it is much better for you to follow your instincts, okay? If you know that the, especially if you're with a fire sign person, that if this person lives far from you or in a long distance, um, relationship with you expect that the reason why sometimes they do not they don't answer your phone calls or your uh, text messages is because they are with someone and you're gonna know and you're gonna notice that they're just too full of excuses so if someone is still depending on you financially it's time for you to cut them off You will try to be with somebody that you're not really in love or that you're not really, you know, so much into. Let's say, for example, that you just want to find some relief. You're going to have a very low sex drive. Okay? Now, if you will be looking for some people who wants to listen to your drama, who wants to listen to, you know, whatever it is that you're going through personally, they don't, sorry, don't expect time or don't expect attention from your friends. You will be expecting much uh, clarity and much um, attention or advice from uh, strangers or from other people. Now, if you will be asking some family members about their opinions, instead of giving an advice, they're going to be blaming you. And they're going to say, I told you so, that this is going to happen. <clears throat> and that is actually the last thing that you want to hear from them. Because, yeah, it's already there, it's already given, it already happened. You cannot really turn back time, right? Now, somehow, you will just continuously travel and just move far, far, far away from this other person who's been breaking you into pieces continuously. Now, you know, you're a very sentimental and very uh, romantic person. And you always value your home, you always value your relationship. If and when you have a feeling for that person. Now, most of the time, the person who's with you always betrays you and always abuses your trust. Okay, no matter how much you how much you give to them, no matter how many times you try to provide for them, give everything that they want, all the material things that you're gonna be providing, they just tend to abuse you more and more and more. And then when you catch them or when you you know you, when you finally stumble upon the truth, because you're very um, you're very intuitive and you're also very guided that whenever there is something that you want to know or when there is something like a truth that you need to, 
to know or have some clarity in the situation, it's always being given to you. But yet, you don't really do anything about it. You still proceed and work on a relationship until you're already tired and you just, you know, you'll just suddenly snap one morning. Right? So, I feel like it's much better for you right from the month of August for this person to cut off, you know, out of your system because the entire year this person will be playing onto you for the wrong purpose, which is just finances. Okay, or just for it, just to make a use of your resources. Do not let this happen to you and love yourself. Okay? Besides this person, whatever they're getting from you, they're also giving it to the person that they're with. So you're just like a, a meal ticket to them. Okay? Uh, <coughs> also, somebody around your work is plotting a, uh, like a, it's like they want to frame you up because they are so, you know, they are so jealous of your success. They are so jealous of you going up so fast and you became so popular, you know, from the beginning of this year. And <clears throat> eventually somebody around your workplace, especially for singles, will be asking you in a very decent manner to go out with you. Now, I feel like it's time for you to open up your eyes, open up your heart, and open up your doors to new possibilities and new potentials. Because even if you will keep on dreaming about this person, see, this is another, another thing. When somebody already tries to knock on your door, you still want, you know, you still keep on closing the door and you still want to keep it locked because somehow your heart is still occupied and you will keep on asking why is it that I keep on dreaming about this person even though i'm trying to get over this person even though i'm trying to cut off the communications and everything you know and everything so you're going to be a little bit more bothered and preoccupied and i feel like it's time for you to do some meditation okay yoga for some but meditation will also help for you to have some clarity of mind and you know uh, Keep on walking until you're only tired or feel the wind. And while you're feeling the strong wind or the strong gush of wind, try to picture all of your worries being taken away by the wind and being replaced by a healthy um, space or cleaning up your space. Okay? But still, when it comes to your work, you will be very popular around your circle. A lot of people will be trusting your inputs, will be asking for your opinion, will be asking for your advice, they'll be consulting you for this and that, and you know, there are only three people in your workplace that will try to ruin you, okay? One is an outsider, and two is around you. And, well, those people will be acting like your friends, but actually they're not. You have to recognize the snake's kid right within them. Now, when it comes to your love life, uh, again, betrayal and heartbreak from somebody from the past, and it's like you just want to be happy. All you want is to be loved. All you want is to feel the happiness that someone is there for you, that someone is also capable of giving you the love that you can give to other people. You know, that you can also feel the unconditional um treatment love and provision that you can give to others all you want is somebody to love you appreciate you have you care for you and to you know <clears throat> take care of your heart but then you will just decide to both walk away from this water side and this fire side at the same time now when it comes to your when it comes to your sex life you will be looking at into you know you'll be looking into a temporary pleasure or happiness like finding someone online just to pleasure you okay well But still, I don't feel like you're going to be into this person. As it's so hard for you to get turned on by somebody that you don't love. 
especially if it's only like heat or hardiness, it's not really your thing. Now when it comes to your health, it seems like still plant some more herbs or do some small garden inside your house. Again, your immune system will be triggered because of your... See, the thing here is it's because of your depression and stress. That's why you will be so prone to a lot of infections, bacteria, and viruses, and other, um, you know, diseases and sickness. And still be careful with some wild animals. You will also be feeling a little bit nauseous or your blood is going low. It's much better for you to go and check out with your doctor with some possible anemia. And for singles, be careful in having sex with somebody that you don't even know. And again, you'll be a little bit disoriented, okay? Most of the time, you will be opting for some instant food or some microwavable food. You're going to have some... Sometimes you're not even going to eat. You're just going to go straight to bed without even eating. So, I feel like it's also time for you to love yourself and, you know, um, have some healthy food. All right? Oh, and uh, some Capricorns will also have some problems digesting or, <clears throat> yeah, having some digestions, especially if you're going to be eating some vegetables. You will notice that you are not really diluting the, the vegetables. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. It's like how you eat them is how you will be. <laughs> Poop <again. coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> All right. You know, your saga for this water sign and fire sign, it seems like it's really going to reach up to the end of this year, okay? Okay, singles, receiving money, and you will also be pampering yourself, taking care of yourself. Some single Capricorns who's actually actively dating and who is active in the, um, you know, in their romantic life, even though there's no relationship or attachment, will find out that they are pregnant, okay? Now, things will still be swirling and rolling and rotating between this fire sign and water sign in your life, okay? And I feel like this is also the time where you will be opting for a new house, relocating, buying a new house, or moving to a different city, okay? But still, there will there is something that you will be celebrating as I feel like you're much wished thing is finally coming true, especially if you want to have a child. You know, some people actually are okay having a child even they are not married or even though they are not with anybody. And you will also be receiving ooh, some unexpected money. Wow, still. Just be very careful in spending or who to spend it with, okay? You will also be receiving a marriage proposal from somebody that you're currently seeing with. Either it's the fire sign or the water sign. Now be very careful if you feel like, you know, especially if there has been some negative signs or red flag signs in the past. Not all the time you should just follow your emotions. You know, because your present decision has a lot of impact into what's going to happen to your future. Let's take a look at your December forecast. Finally, and 
I know a lot of people are already waiting for the uh, Aquarius and Pisces. So right after the Aquarius and Pisces, I will be <coughs> uh, finishing and recording the Virgo, Leo, and Libra forecast. Okay, I'm so sorry if it takes so long, but I will. I, you know, I'm already doing my best to deliver it all to you. Why is it that your world is, your romantic world is just simply evolving and, you know, going through this fire and water? Either it's their mood or sun. For some reason, I feel like this fire sign is your um, karmic soulmate. That there is a karmic prize or karmic debts that simply just won't settle until you've already learned your lesson, you know? <coughs> the cluttering, and it's also, you know, making you feel a little bit more, you know, like um, it's time to tidy up. It's time to clean up some old files. It's time to delete some of the uh, uh, files that needs to be files or clutter, or you know, some old stuff from the past that if you just want to keep a soft copy of it, better. But it's not going to do this part or shred some of the files, records, or documents that, you know, <coughs> It's not really necessary for you to keep it in your shelf or your drawer. <sighs> December. You're moving because this fire sign broke your heart. You'll just decide to relocate. And admit to yourself that while you are in the process of thinking about this relocation, you're still hoping, you know, for the silver lining from this fire sign. But, you know, it's a good thing that you will know what will be the end of this or what will be the bottom line. If you are the one, if you're the top of the Capricorn who's going through some stuff with the or deal with the fire sign, so that at least you know what to avoid and uh, how to navigate your way out of it. So that you eventually you're gonna be avoiding the three of swords. Alright. Now miss the cold weather and here in this place it's like summer all year you can't even feel Christmas here and time flies so fast 2018 is about to wave goodbye and uh, say hello to 2019 <coughs> Okay. Now, you also need to be a little bit more careful in um, moving too far away because of your extreme emotions, okay? Or because of your impulsive decisions. To move away or to avoid somebody that you are trying to escape from. See, when you try to escape from from somebody, then most likely that your um, most likely that your um, you know your uh, path will be a little bit blurry and will be a little bit uh, scary. Yeah. Uh, 
well, you're the type of a person that when you make a decision, you don't really regret doing it, you know, because, you know, right before you step out into a relationship, you give your all, you exude all of your efforts, you give everything material, emotional, moral support whatsoever, okay? But when you evolve with your virtue up to your tipping point, and it's like, you know what? I'm done. But when you say I'm done, I'm tired, and I don't want to, it's like, I don't want to, you know? And that is what your partners or what your exes should realize, that right before they consume all of your energy, they shouldn't really, you know, push you too far until that you're no longer unreachable. And this is what's going to happen to you this year by the end of uh, the, well, by, by the end of the year, which is this month of December. <clears throat> Work-wise, I don't see any problem. And I don't feel like, as you know, right in the last quarter of the month, sorry, last quarter of the year, you'll be receiving an award, um, recognition, or something like that. And um, you'll be very happy with how your performance, career, and finances will turn out this year. So there's no doubt about that, okay? Even if you keep on changing from one job to another, expect that, you know, the companies will keep on uh, running after you. There is no problem about that, okay? Surely. But when it comes to your love life or romantic life, this is where your life will go like this. It will be declining too fast. And... I feel like you would just decide to really move away from somebody for real. Um, some Capricorns will, you know, will opt into moving internationally or moving to a different country. Some will be moving at the uh, very, very far state <clears throat> or um, eight hours away from wherever you are right now so that this person that you're trying to avoid will be very far from you. All right, and you want to begin? Are you ready to make a brand new beginning wherever you are? And I feel like you will just be moving into a different branch of your company because your company won't be letting you go. They would just recommend you for another branch, or they would just recommend you for another office or something like that. Which is still you're going to be holding a higher position. Okay. Now, oh, by the way, and be very careful for those Capricorns who's actually a doctor. Be careful with some road accidents. Okay. Now, when it comes to your finances and career, still, you will be decluttering. And if you like, this is also the time where you will be shredding some of your old files, cleaning up your temporary files, cleaning up your computers and stuff like that. And you will also be a little bit generous. Okay. Because of all the blessings that you will be receiving this year, you will be uh, dedicating at least, not 20, 10%, but at least a huge amount of money okay, to a charity or to some homeless people. It's like you're going to be buying <coughs> a bunch of food or you're going to be ordering from a food outlet and you will be distributing it on the street, okay? But that is actually the, you know, the, the beauty of it. And spiritually, you will be growing. Your intuition will become, you know, it's like leveling up. And trust that this, you know, betrayal or trust that this, uh... Down moments, you will rise from the ashes like a phoenix, and eventually you will be meeting somebody that is even more worthy of your of your time, love, and space, and you know investments and everything. Okay, so don't worry about it. And again, definitely this uh, this era with the fire sign will be ending this year, and as you move into a different place, different location, different city, or different country. Okay, you're afraid of your decision but you are really ready to move on, definitely. Now, when it comes to your sex life, it seems like you'll be very attractive during this month, and there will be a lot of people who will be expressing their interest. You know, a lot of people are just waiting for you to be single, and they're just waiting for you to go to, you know, to open up your doors, and you will see that the lineup is already long outside. So you don't need to worry. You know, the only thing that you need to worry about is that you rarely go, you know, get single. And even if you choose to be single, it is because that you don't want to get hurt anymore. Okay? So, 
just be very careful in you know being physically intact or physically intimate with somebody because you're you know you're a little bit OC. And of course, check out their hygiene as well. Now, when it comes to your health, you you know some Capricorns is already pregnant. You'll be very happy that your pregnancy is uh, getting stronger and your baby is also staying healthy. And some will be delivering during this month, which is hopefully it's going to be another Capricorn baby. And uh, be careful with some, you know, eating raw food or eating food that is, especially street food, that is not really hygienic, okay? Be very careful about that. Avoid eating seafood, especially uh, squid or octopus, all right, during this month. And don't eat food with somebody I mean you know especially if you're gonna be um, joining a native gathering let's say for example that people do eat with their fingers or do eat with their hands with their bare hands be very careful okay I mean it's kind of a little bit awful to to use some so some utensils but you know just well just try to avoid that okay uh, because you're going to be very, very sensitive to food poisoning during this point. Now let's take a look, singles, finally, at your December forecast. You know, Capricorn... The most thing that you, you know, you know, you're not really afraid of any challenges in your life. And the last thing that you ever wanted to have is to have a broken heart and be betrayed by somebody that you really love. But that is also what's going to make you more stronger and smarter. So don't be afraid. Of it. Oops. But actually... Oh, Knight of Cups. That could have shock me, but okay. Let's just set it aside. It flipped for a reason. Alright, Knight of Cups. Well, it seems like you're going to be working out with this. You know, with this water sign, as I feel like there will be a second chance that this person will be giving to you. More communications, and it seems like you are finally coming into terms about getting over somebody finally. Okay? It's going to work out between you and this water sign. Even though it's going to hurt you to leave a strong foundation or like a foundation that you have already built for how many years in the past, but it's just time for a brand new beginning. Okay? It's not that you are the one who made the decision to end things, but I feel like at this point, it is much better for you to face the fact that some things are better to leave, to, to leave behind. And someday, all of your questions will be answered when you finally have a clear set of mind and when you finally clear off your, your heart, you know, with the, some dark memories or some painful memories. But at this point, enjoy whatever that's right in front of you instead of looking too far ahead so that you won't be stumbling upon another obstacle and you eventually you're going to get hurt again or hurt yourself again. All right? Have a great holidays. Merry Christmas to all of you. And hopefully you will have bountiful 2018. All right? If you want to have your own yearly forecast or annual forecast, just go and visit me at my website. It's pangel.net. You may also talk to me live on the phone or live in the calls or up for our pre-recorded video readings. I will be available again full-time right after my healing session <clears throat> on January 2nd. Well, you can still talk to me live on the phone around 28th or 30th. And, uh, you know, I'll be back to my regular hours. Now, for life coaching and uh, past life regression healing, spiritual healing, uh, 2018 is now open for booking, um, okay? You may talk to Alpha or Gyro, or just visit my website or send me an email directly so that I can advise you further, all right? Blessings to you, and have a great year.